I got the framing right. <laughs> And it is uh, 7.30 in the morning. Um, let me check the time and date. I think it's the 17th. Yeah, Thursday, September 17th. So we're beginning Thursday's vlog. As I said, it's part of my routine. I just finished my meditation. I did the gaming earlier. Uh, the gaming took a little bit longer than I expected to do. Because I had a little extra to do. Because I've, I've upgraded. i moved up a level uh, in the game. So uh, every time you level up. You have to do a little extra work. To sort of clean up. And sort of get ready to move on up. Out of the first out of the level. That the new uh, Move into the level that you just got into. Because you, you get to the level. And then you move into the level. <laughs> so. Uh, I think life's like that as well. Is that. That. You treat life as the game. Every time you complete a task, uh, there are many more tasks waiting for you. And in between the tasks, there's always the cleanup of the old task and the preparation for the new task as you're moving into it. it it's kind of like, in many ways, uh, uh, back to school, because a lot of people are now talking about back to school, and a lot of kids are back to school, and they say, well, what? we're going to drag it out over a month or so. Uh, we're going to take our time getting back to school, and that's okay. A large chunk of it has to do with just simply fear, and it's it, it's it's running parents ragged. Parents don't know what to do in terms of how they set their, how their how to set their schedules. And if you're a scheduled person, that's going to drive you up the wall. I'm not necessarily a scheduled person. I I work at my own particular pace, and uh, uh, I get to where I'm going eventually. <laughs> And that's kind of that's kind of my that's kind of my pace. Even on the scooter, we don't. Uh, the time it takes me. My dad used to come pick me up and take me back to my place, and it took from door to door. It took about seventeen minutes. Uh, from door to door, it takes me twenty minutes. I'm not going as fast as a car goes, but in terms of the overall time. There is basically a two-minute difference between uh, a two-three-minute difference between uh, a car or the scooter. So, in turn, you know, I'm happy with what I have. The, the, you know, the the end up the ending result is better than what I expected it to be. Uh, so, there's no reason for me to sort of complain. Oh, there's something better out there. Well, the thing is, I'm not even going at the full speed of the of, of the uh, the scooter. I'm only doing, uh, the, the scooter can do 55 kilometers an hour, I'm only doing 20, so I can go twice as fast. But the thing is, is that with the amount of stress, that I do have stress in my life, because a large, there's, on a daily basis, uh, everything's brand new, I, I, I'm restarting new levels almost on a daily, daily basis, so there is an enormous amount of stress in my life, and... I don't want it while I'm, while I'm driving. I don't want it. I don't want it while, while I'm out uh, doing that. And so, uh, 20 kilometers is good enough for me. Um, I do have at 20 kilometers an hour the wind in my hair. And the thing is, with the scooter, you feel every single bump on the road. So there are the, the road is in such a condition that you can't go more than 20 kilometer hour, 20 kilometers an hour, an hour on the scooter because the. the it just will bounce you out of the out, off the scooter. It becomes dangerous beyond 20 kilometers an hour on the scooter. So I keep it at 20 kilometers an hour, which is good for me. And uh, in terms of the time wise, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, on the uphills, if I needed to, I can give it extra power, and um, uh, and it will on the uphill give me extra power because I, I have one or two. I have two motors. Uh, typically, I'm always in one motor. And, but if I needed to, I can, on the uphills, I can bring it into the set, bring in the second motor, and maintain the speed of 20 kilometers an hour. So that's that that's something significant for me. I I, I find this significant. So, and this is how I deal with stress. This, you know, you, you you have to understand where your limits are, and certain things you can put more stress on, and but other times you got to realize, okay, that's it, that's my limit. I'm not doing any more stressful work. <laughs> I'm not adding in any more stress because it's not it's not necessary. But a lot of people don't seem to understand don't seem to understand this or seem to be able to control this in their life. 
and that's what causes a lot of the issues with the fatigue. They see things just coming at them, and they don't seem to know how to... They get into a state where they don't seem to know how to handle all that's coming at everything that's coming at them. They, so they have a tendency to sort of be extra stressed about that. And when that anxiety, that false anxiety, when that anxiety hits, the anxiety itself, that fear itself, that the, the emotional stress creates a fatigue because you can only handle it for so long. Anyways, this is a 24-7 day. 24, 20 hour, 20, 24 hour day uh, and I'm going to go back for another sleep break and uh, uh, see what happens there the, the, the dreams again, the experiences there have been rather unusual I've been finding out some new things but uh, again different experiences
driving or even walking you have to watch her. Everybody else on the road is okay and that keeps you safe. Pouches are better than bags for the environment, uh, than for the environment. This is assuming, of course, assuming, of course, you don't litter. If you litter, then you drop the stuff everywhere you go, and it's not going to really matter whether it's a pouch or a box, because <laughs> it's not getting recycled. And I see again and again, article after article, and I know this for myself, I know people who are in the industry of recycling. They don't recycle. So basically, you recycle at home, you do your bit for the environment, and then the garbage people, the supposedly recycling people now, take all of the stuff you separated put in one big industrial bin and ship it out. this sounds yet on the blog, but uh, I don't put the file blog yet. I prepared a spot for it on my computer, on the front of my system. Uh, this is where the audio is, 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 and this is where the audio is extremely important, the acoustics are extremely important, and you shouldn't be wearing headphones while you're riding or walking, because you have to hear when somebody's coming. driveway. It's in my driveway as we come in. That's, uh... Hey. Morning. Let's see how things go. 
I still have a hard time when there are vehicles behind me and vehicles that go around me. It is simply the anxiety, the fear that sort of causes the issue. But I suppose the more you use of the traffic, the better. So, this is kind of uh, the thing. I don't know how this goes with the street light in terms of uh, visibility, but hopefully you can hear, at least hear my voice and some of the scenery at night. So I know there's a bus somewhere behind me. I don't know exactly where. I can smell the fumes coming from behind me. I smell the diesel. But then there's also what ends up happening. Coming to a light now. And I'll probably have to stop to a light. Oh, no. It's staying green. So we'll go through. The fear is still the larger vehicle. Well, I'm, that's where the fear still is. But then again, I'm only weekend, so... There you go. Bus pass. Thank you. Uh, gave me a full lane. It went right around me. That's a great thing. That's what I want to see. So that's my first bus experience. You're always afraid of the, the bus driver's not paying attention or someone with a larger vehicle's not paying attention. Uh, they can try to squeeze by you. That's why, that's why I ride in the middle of the lane. I don't want people squeezing by me. That's where you get into the danger zone. When someone tries to squeeze by you, or you try to squeeze by them, uh, they don't always see you. This is how people end up uh, under buses, under trucks, and so on and so forth, is because they try to squeeze by them. Now, I'm not going to try to beat the bus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down, and I'm going to let the bus merge in. And it's at these slow speeds that I have my problem. Because you got to stay... bit, the bike moves either to the left or right depending on how the body actually shifts. So then you have to rebalance yourself and in traffic that's a little tricky. So uh, it's a matter of, I think it's a matter of the more I do this, the better I'll get and the more comfortable I'll feel. So it's just a matter of getting to that and then that will be uh, uh, my standard. I'm under half the speed the bike can do. So I'm still doing just about 20 kilometers an hour. Uh, increasing the speed won't increase my commute time necessarily. It's still 20 minutes between points. So I have to take my hand off the accelerator. Or oh, the finger, because the finger does the acceleration. Now this is the tricky part, we're going uphill. Do, do proper balancing, I'm in the opposite way. Now this world has divots in it, so that's just what makes it a little more difficult. Every time there's these divots and potholes and so on and so forth, 
that causes issues with the bike and the balance. That's not bad. You have to approach them at the right speed. If you're too slow, they become too significant. Too fast, and it bounces you off from the, the scooter. And here we are, right at, the, at my place. So we've more or less seen a round trip. I'll come in. down. I don't need the accelerator right now. I'll come in. And that's it. Well, it's a uh, Friday morning. Uh, Friday, September 18th, it's, uh, uh, 5.40 in the morning. Um, it was an excellent day today. Uh, I was able to vlog on the way to, uh, my parents' house and the way back. Uh, we'll see how that ends up turning out, uh, particularly the nighttime vlog. Uh, it was different because it, it was different sections of the road. Uh, where I typically started vlogging, I wasn't at light long enough to start the camera, so uh, I waited till I was at another light, and then at that light, then it, I was it, it was there long enough, so I didn't want to hold up traffic at all, uh, and I could and I was able to start the camera and proceed uh, uh, to my parents' house uh, on the scooter. Uh, what I've been noticing, uh, I did a bit of the YouTube stroll as I was ending my night. I get back and I, you know, do my gaming. The gaming is is as much on the schedule as uh, as is uh, as is the YouTube stroll, along with uh, my meditation. And um, tomorrow is going to be another long meditation day. It's, it, well, not tomorrow when I get up in, if, in about a couple hours or so. Ooh. In the YouTube stroll, everyone's talking about fatigue. Everybody's talking about fatigue. And I noticed that the number of vlogs that are being posted uh, are kind of uh, off schedule. They're, they're not posting as much as you would expect them to post. Uh, but then I, 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 I'm wondering if this is an issue, a back-to-school issue, that uh, uh, because people are still trying to figure out this whole thing with back-to-school, that it's throwing uh, some complications into everything. Uh, that's my feeling is that a lot of people are sort of starting to feel this, but uh, uh, we'll kind of sort of wait and have to sort of see what's going to happen over the weekend. Uh, usually the weekend vlogs are what sort of tells this is where they make their big announcements so this is the what's where to go uh, as to what's going to happen because this is ha this is uh, the Saturday vlogs are typically the most viewed so naturally one would, ex would expect that if the, that's where your viewership is going to be on Saturdays then you'd wait till Saturday to uh, make your big announcements uh, you know, on the weekend vlog uh, and a lot of times, most channels are ahead. They're they, they, like they, 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 you're seeing what they did maybe a week before, or sometimes two weeks before. Uh, some vloggers were there. Just there, uh, Yowie vlogs is right now is about a week or so. They're about a week behind. Uh, that's because their house flooded. But so did uh, the Ohana Adventure. Uh, the oh Ohana Adventure had had the same flood that the uh, that the Yaoi vlogs had. But neither house, of, neither the Ohana Venture nor um, Yaoi vlogs, uh, well, ha have posted. Well, no, the so Yaoi vlogs does, has, has posted on a daily basis. The Ohana Venture is now off. Uh, they're, I think they're two weeks behind uh, the, the uh, vlog. 
the, the, the flood happened two weeks ago, I think, and, uh, uh, I just now watched their vlog for that, I don't, I, I can't remember how long it's been up for. Uh, Clay Leah seems to vlog on a very consistent basis, uh, on a continuous basis, basis. And I found several other uh, families that do the same thing as well. So it's a matter of of sort of perusing around and sort of figuring out who posts on a regular basis and who doesn't. And that, that, and that way, I can if for some of the ones who don't post on a regular basis, rather than binge watching everything all at once, sort of uh, meter them out so that I have something to watch all week long. So <laughs> then that's you know. That's, Kind of how things go, uh, and I think this is where we, the fatigue is starting to hit hard. That the thoughts don't come to my mind as quickly as possible. The conversation falls off. I'm falling asleep. So at this point in time, it does, I don't really care about how I feel. It doesn't matter whether I'm worth it or not. It's just simply no refunds. <laughs>